Once a dazzling white elephant was born, and because of his great beauty, he became the elephant of the king. Adorned on festival days, he would carry the king through the streets, and everyone would say, What a magnificent elephant! Since no one ever said anything flattering about the king, the king became jealous of the elephant and thought of a plan to get rid of him. The king summoned the elephant's trainer. The elephant is not well trained, said the king. Indeed he is, said the trainer. If he is, then he can climb to the top of the highest mountain, said the king. So the trainer mounted the dazzling white elephant and rode him up to the highest mountain's peak. The king and his courtiers followed in horse-drawn wagons. If he is so well trained, said the king, he can stand on three legs at the edge of the mountain top. The trainer signaled, and the elephant stood on three legs. Now make him stand on his two front legs, yelled the king. The elephant raised his back legs and stood on his front legs. Now on his back legs, roared the king. The obedient elephant raised his front legs and stood on his back legs. Now on one leg, screamed the king. And the elephant stood on one leg. If he is so well trained, screeched the king, make him stand on the air. Surely the king must want him to fall off the cliff, the trainer thought. So he whispered in the elephant's ear, Great white elephant, the king wants you to fall off the cliff to your death. He is not worthy of you. If you have magic powers, rise up in the air and fly with me to the next kingdom. And the great white elephant rose straight up into the air. The trainer then yelled down to the king, This great white elephant is too good for a worthless fool like you. None but a wise and good king is worthy to be his master. And off they flew to the next kingdom, whose wise king in time reduced the worthless king to ashes.